So good afternoon and good morning, Yudita, um, because you are joining us um, not from Sydney where I am, but Sri Lanka. Um, so thanks for taking some time today. Uh, we'd love to hear from you about Blue Chip Technologies and your product Colorwise. I think it's always best coming from the founder to tell us what it is that you do. Hello, good morning, Cathy. Uh, so our company is Blue Chip Technologies Asia and our product is called Colorwise, uh, which is an AI analytical platform that we are targeting for call centers in different verticals. So insurance industry, financial sector, different uh, verticals. And also now we are trying with uh, other uh, integrators uh, with the cloud providers of call centers to integrate our solution. So to provide a really good kind of uh, decision making uh, in terms of the calls. And I've just recently learned that you are already a Microsoft MVP. Um, so you come with a lot of expertise already in the Microsoft products. Being in the Highway to 100 Unicorns program, um, you might have a, a much better idea than some of the other startups who are coming in brand new about what you might be able to get out of this program. What sort of business aspirations do you have to achieve in the year that you're with us? Yeah, so we are looking to uh, expand into other markets, uh, other international markets, and also get the support from mentoring network. That's a strong mentoring network that Microsoft have. And also uh, looking to get more insight with the product engineering team uh, that uh, giving support for our product. Got it. Is that, um, you know, my next question is about the challenges that you face. Um, are those some of the challenges that you're you're going to um, over hope to overcome, or are there other challenges as well on the horizon for you and Colorwise? Yeah, some of the challenges is like uh, scaling uh, more internationally and uh, into different verticals, uh, different sectors. So because each sector, each industry is different from one another, there are unique uh, things within each industry, and also uh, the platforms that we are integrating is different from one another. So we need to find the optimal way to scale it uh, into multiple platforms and into multiple industries. So that is really uh, enable us to uh, go into much more scale uh, kind of application. So we are any kind of industry, any kind of uh, operator can easily plug in our software and use it. That's, that's the uh, that's the magic moment, isn't it? Anyone can use it at, at any time. Um, and if this does go gangbusters and, um, you know, the program works and you do go worldwide, what do you think that this will mean for the um, economic impact on Sri Lanka? Yeah, it will be a huge uh, impact uh, for us also, like uh, because uh, we, are, we can uh, hire more people and get more staff and we can grow our team uh, because uh, we looking to like uh, grow our team even more. And uh, there's a huge R&D component in that. There's a lot of research and development can be done in this scope uh, that is not happening. Uh, it's done in some companies, some uh, products, but we're looking to more uh, innovate, add more things into this. So there's a lot of R&D involved in this. So it will be helpful to grow research and development and grow more staff uh, in the organization. And as we're talking about growth, um, can you talk a little bit more about what the next big growth opportunity for Blue Chip Technologies and Colorwise is? Yeah, uh, so at the moment we are in the APEC, so we are looking to go into the European market, uh, UK markets mostly, where AI is uh, really used uh, in a lot of uh, industries and a lot of sectors. So we are, our next uh, main target is going to European markets, especially the UK markets, and uh, using our products for those customers and getting uh, benefits and getting uh, more supports in that market. Yeah. And as you as you grow and um, scale up and get ready to get big, what are some of the key criteria that you have when you're making technology decisions? Yeah, so one of the key criteria is the innovation. So whether how to innovate further uh, to market needs, because every time the market shift and there are new markets needs come in, a lot of shift change we can see already happening. So because of that, there are a lot of innovation uh, that's happening. So we try to innovate and uh, listen to the market's needs and try to uh, like innovate our product further and add new features that coming along the way for these market needs. Um, you are so sure about all this stuff. It's, it's amazing. There's an answer to every question and super quick. You've thought of everything and that's an amazing way to be um, organized. 
um, which can be shot to pieces by things sometimes. I know that you are only um, really launched in 2021, but in that time, has COVID has it had an effect on your business and shot it to pieces or blasted it into, you know, um, it, you know, put a rocket under it? Yeah, so I would say COVID uh, always uh, impacted us in a much more good way. Uh, than a bad way. So we are uh, we we go to network with more like-minded people. We get more uh, support, and uh, we uh, we try to scale our business also during the COVID. So this is one of the uh, the IT uh, sector is one of the growing sector during the COVID. So we got the really uh, advancement because of that. So we enable to grow our company much more further, and also scale our company, and also get more support and network easily uh, during the COVID time. Um, so I mentioned at the very start that it's it's a very rare thing for us to have in our program somebody who already knows the ropes of the inner workings of Microsoft, which is an MVP, I think, that you would have a lot more exposure to. How does it feel to be sort of having a foot in both camps? Is it Has it become easier or have you sort of seen that the Microsoft is a bigger machine or you've you're, you're found, found that you're much more fluent than than you thought? Yeah, so uh, big MEP and even uh, before that, uh, we, I was coming from a Microsoft Student Partner Program, so it was a student ambassador earlier that time, then uh, become MEP, then uh, past couple of years in different verticals. So MEP is mostly for the professionals, like how you can uh, like uh, get engaged with the community and share your knowledge and do a lot of great work. Uh, so we are, I got exposure in really great, amazing experience in the APAC region. So that's uh, enable us that past decade of experience actually helped me uh, to start the startup and go to that journey. So that's actually helped me a lot uh, also uh, in a lot of different ways uh, because uh, I'm already familiar with a lot of uh, those uh, things uh, that comes from the Microsoft ecosystem and being a MEP, uh, how to uh, like uh, talk to people and learn a lot of uh, interactions that we had in to the APAC region. So it's really amazing experience and I try to increase this further with the startup journey as well. It's, it's the pleasure is all ours because what we, gain from that is that you are able to have eyes on how it works and how it's used all at once and um, and help us to sort of grow the product because um, this is the whole point of the Microsoft for Startups Highway to 100 Unicorns program is to um, really get exposure to tier two cities and, and people um, everywhere in them. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. I think I feel like asking if there's anything else that you'd like to add that I haven't asked, if there's any pointers about Caller-wise that you'd like to go out with that you'd like the audience to know. So like, uh, yes, uh, we like to like partner with more uh, partnerships with uh, like-minded companies and uh, partners uh, to grow our company. Uh, so anyone interested can uh, join and support us with our initiative. And we are looking to like international expansions, like uh, creating a global tech company uh, based on the technical product. So we are looking to those kind of support and uh, the partnerships uh, go along the way uh, in our journey because it's a long journey and a lot of partnerships helps to uh, support uh, that chain. Absolutely. I'm I'm a, f a fully fledged believer in the school of thought that collaboration gets so much more done than competition. Um, collaboration with your competition can, can it's, it's a really sweet spot there. Mm. And if you can find it, I think it's, it's a magic place. So um, thank you so much for joining us today, Deetha. Uh, it's been a a whirlwind conversation of of some serious facts. I can I can see why you're an MVP and why people might dip into your knowledge resources. Um, we will check in again in a couple of months, and it's a pleasure to have you on board in the program. Thank you, thank you so much uh, to having me on this uh, interview session, and it's really amazing journey so far, and looking forward to do even more amazing things in coming months and years. Thank you. The best of luck. Thank you, thank you so much. I did thank that. You. Bye. Bye.